guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create these fresh simple summer ready makeup looks so I hope you guys enjoy it I paired up with the steam Manhattan also with the metallic lips which I absolutely love for the summer so if you want to learn how I created this look please keep on watching so the first thing that I did is that I apply a little bit of color correcting a fluid from Urban Decay and I'm applying these underneath my eyes to just brighten it up a little bit and get rid of all like a little bit of the darkness underneath and then I'm applying these um, I would say BB cream or it feels like a CC cream too from Urban Decay all over my skin it's called the one and done Hyper complexion perfecter and it has SPF of 20 which is great for the summer I've been testing it out and I really really like it it's lightweight and it just blends really, really nicely on the skin without feeling heavy so I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender all over my skin and yeah so once you do that you want to go ahead and uh, well I am going to apply a little bit of concealer and I'm using here the Radiant Creamy Concealer from um, uh, NARS in, in the shade Vanilla and I'm applying it right underneath my eyes and then I'm grabbing the Hula Bronzer uh, which is on a liquid form so it's called the Do The Hula by Benefit and I'm applying it right where the natural contour of the face should be so right on the sides of my forehead because that my forehead is not um, big it's on the okay side okay I guess normal size so I don't want my face to look more narrow because I'm already have like a brown face so I want my face to actually look more elongated so I just put it on the sides and also underneath my cheekbones and also um, on the sides of my nose and on my jawline to just define it just a little bit more what I like about this product is just that it's gonna give you more of a natural contour and it's not gonna be like super defined it's just gonna blend with the foundation and it's gonna give you like a natural bronze on the skin without being too heavy and then I'm going to go ahead and blend out everything on the skin to just make sure there's no hard edges and you just want to make sure you take your time so I'm blending out the highlighted area first and then I'm gonna move on to the contour area as you can see I'm blending it out also this product from a benefit has a nice smell I actually like the smell of it usually these products don't come with a nice smell I don't know why but this one comes like it feels like it, like, it smells like a cologne from like a mean I don't know but it has like a nice smell uh, and then and once I'm done uh, blending everything now, we want to move on to setting the skin. So what I did is I only set the parts where you don't want to look shiny, like you don't want to look like you're sweating. So I went ahead and set right underneath my eyes because you just don't want your foundation to crease. And also a little bit underneath that natural contour because I want the, uh, the natural bronze that I put on the skin to stand out. And also um, a little bit right on my chin because we don't want to sweat in that area. And that's it. So I didn't put any other setting powder at all because I wanted to keep it natural. And then let's move on to the eyes so we want to go ahead and apply any eye base that you own I'm going to apply here the air patrol eye base from benefit and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger this is just gonna help the eyeshadows to last all day and really pick up the vibrancy from the color so really help me to grab that pigment and make it show a little better then we want to move on to the brows and I'm using here the Tresky it's called the Define Scope and Zebra Pencil. So it comes with a pencil on the other side of um, this tool that I have. comes with a spoolie and a little gel. So you, you can use that as well. So it's two in one. It comes with a pencil and the spoolie with a gel to set the brow. So I'm just really just placing the product just a little bit. I'm just going to define the brows because I don't want them to look harsh or intense because my eyebrows are already pretty, pretty hairy. So I don't want them to look like super defined on my skin and also it's summer so you just wanted to keep it fresh and you know just fresh and simple and pretty and what I'm doing next is just uh, spreading the product throughout my brow to just make sure all the empty spaces are filled and I'm doing this with a little bit with an angle brush and then I'm grabbing these uh, pencil from Coverfix and it's kind of like a concealer in a pencil which I think is pretty convenient and pretty easy to use and super fast so you don't even have to use a brush 
and you just want to define your brows and I'm just what I'm doing here just defining them a little bit like highlighting underneath the brow to just make sure just it gives me more of a clean brow and defined brow and just I'm um, blending it out with my fingers so there is no harsh lines you can also use a concealer or something like that I just prefer to use this because it was more easy to use and then I'm here grabbing the Lutos Vera Mora palette and I'm gonna use this color as you guys can see here and this and what I love about this palette is that it comes with this color switch um, color switch tool which would which is gonna help you switch colors without switching the brush so for this look I'm actually just using one brush the one that you see here which is the one the 224 brush by MAC which I absolutely love I use it all the time and I'm only using a brush for this look because I want you guys to see the convenience of this color switch which is amazing they also sell it like individually just the color switch from Betamona but um, the palette actually came with it so I thought it was super cool uh, because sometimes we don't want to carry too much brushes or you just want to not dirty too much brushes and that's what I love the most I also carried it in my makeup kit for my clients when I have so many of them and I don't want to use like a ton of brushes um, for only one person so then I'm grabbing this pink shade which is called clover and I'm, I'm applying this with just the side of the brush to just make sure that the shadow really sticks to the eye so I'm not sweeping it I'm actually pressing it onto the eye onto the lid and I'm just make, making sure that the shadow is really grabbed by the eye base so it, since it is a fluffy brush you just want to dab it um, using the side of the brush and not actually the tip that's why I flipped it over to just make sure it gives me like the right um, application and then once you do that you want to go ahead and also do like right in the inner corner just bring the eyeshadow to the inner corner and then you want to go ahead and switch it again so then because you want to take off the excess of that pink shadow and then you want to blend out the edges then it's time to get rid of all that loose powder so right after you take out the loose powder you want to make sure you want to make sure you grab a little bit of that darker shade again which is um which is called celosian and you want to put it right underneath the eye making sure you go back and forth back and forth and you want to do the same on the other eye using the tip of the brush so as you guys can see doing an eye makeup with one brush is doable it's just about having a little bit of patience because you just want to take your time and then you want to go ahead and apply this right in the inner corner as well just a little bit of that pink shade and then you want to go move on to the lashes so what I did is I apply I curl my lashes and then I'm applying tons of mascara I'm using the Tarte Taste mascara from Tarte Cosmetics from the uh, new collection which is amazing I really love this mascara it really opens up your lashes and really make them wispy which is pretty cool and I love that about the brush and then I'm grabbing my favorite lashes of all time which is Kane's from Lily Lashes and I also love this style Miami but this ones I always get so many compliments with this ones and I use them in in my video what's in my bag and many many of you had questions about my lashes so I figure I will use them again for my next video so you guys know which ones I'm wearing and I am applying a highlighter that I cannot talk about um, it's not out, out on the shelves yet but I was just testing it out and I was just showing you but you guys will know which highlighter it is once I'm able to talk about it and then I'm applying the trendsetter um, lip contour pencil by Huda Beauty which I absolutely love the color and I just they're so creamy they go on so smooth on the lips they're so pigmented I just bought this ones and I bought actually three shades so I'm just testing out this one first the trendsetter and I absolutely love it um, the quality is just amazing and super creamy lights on very nicely so you can you absolutely could um, definitely go check it out and then I'm just doing a little bit of lip contouring look at what the lip contour does just makes my lips stand out a little more which is pretty cool without doing without doing any lip injection or any any of that um, nature if you just want to go simple and cheaper I guess so um, yeah and then I'm applying the metallic lipstick from Joyer Cosmetics in the shade Papaya and I absolutely love it guys so this is the end of the look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial 
Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in your comments below what you think. Would you wear a metallic lipstick for summer? Would you not? Why not? Let me know. And I hope you really enjoy this look. I had so much fun doing it and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys. Bye.